just speaking with my daughter, um, my oldest one, she's pursuing her PhD in biochemistry. So anytime I give a statement, she kind of gives me her uh, opinion about certain things. So no, it's cool because if I'm wrong, oh, she'll definitely crack her mama. So I read that almost 50% of the fatty acids in coconut oil is lauric acid. And I also read that lauric acid in the coconut oil can kill bacteria, viruses, and fungi. Well, I mean, it really depends on how much is in there. Because, I mean, if it's in a small amount, it could probably just inhibit it and just prevent some of the growth of those. But if it's in large amounts, which usually fruits and vegetables... Those kind of things, you might not have too much. Again, I don't know for a fact, but I'm just like thinking freely right now. But in general, if you have something that's in a low amount, it'll mostly be an inhibitor as opposed to a large amount. But okay. don't go with trying to, oh my gosh, this has this lauric acid in it, so I can just like bathe in all this bacteria and then it won't grow. Right. Just, oh, I got, I got gangrene. Let me put this coconut oil on right, here. Right. You this know. is not going to replace any kind of <laughs> Oh, my face is cracking. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you that's duck. not going to replace any of that, but maybe you can just go, <sighs> just maybe it'll just help reduce the amount of bacteria that naturally occurs on your skin, which can like start to contribute to pimples and blemishes and things like that. Oh, snap. Because they definitely do. Because, I mean, the pus inside your Ew. pimples, most of And that, that toxin's trying to get out. Your skin, your body's that trying to push too, that mess but, out. I mean, when you like have your zit or whatever and it comes out that you have your skin cells dirt and most of that like the yellowy and the white stuff that's from the bacteria because like when you grow that's cold, nasty like when you grow bacteria in a culture it'll be like either white or yellow it'll look exactly like that pus that's coming yeah. out of your skin. so that's mostly bacteria and i mean you need bacteria to live but when it's overly produced and that's when they should like processed food and stuff that we don't eat yeah but i mean that i mean once you change your diet it'll change like the conditions on your skin allow more bacteria to grow which you don't want and it's, not, it's not necessarily the food you eat makes more bacteria. It's just some foods you eat. And now washing more, away your backside. Not even that. It's just like bacteria need a certain condition to live in on your skin. But if you change like the way you eat, the oils you secrete change, like the environment changes for them to grow yeah. in. So if you have that, then the bacteria will start to grow more. Then you get all those blemishes. And That's some nasty stuff. So you can't go to that fried chicken that place down the street after mowing <laughs> your lawn, right? So you got to come home, wash yourself. Cleansing and, is essential. Like, my daddy, essential. I know you never met my daddy because he died a year before you were. My daddy said, if you soap and water, set your mind free. Thank you. There you go. It's, it's cleansing. I mean, before all this scientific stuff came out, you just take a bath. Because basically, we come from a tropical people, so we got coconuts, and we in, in oh, we eating them Kalahari melons. Right, y'all know right. it's watermelons. Boop, boop, boop. So, I mean, just just take a bath, y'all. It, take a bath. Nice. Oil up with some I'm coconut not a oil. Of all this, ooh, this aging cream, ooh, this new, uh, this and this chemical does this. Just I, take a bath. I'm not a fan of right. paying for all that. There you ain't go. Nobody got no money. I'm broke. What does that lady say? I ain't got time for that. Easy. There you go. There you go. For my natural biochemist, you can't see me because I'm looking rather nasty right now. <laughs> so, peace out, people.